We built our lifestyle bit by bit so that we could be on the road all the time, moving from place to place. It's what makes us happiest. But a life constantly on the go is not everyone's definition of having it all. But does the alternative mean a complete 180 to white picket fence and Monday morning conference calls? Of course not. Today, we're hanging out with Colin and Hannah. They're Chicago friends who several years ago realized they weren't happy working in their lucrative tech and marketing jobs downtown. The grind, stress, and city life were wearing on them despite the heavy paychecks. It was time for a change and a move west to Elkton, Oregon. Colin began working with Tyler, remember last week's video? In the wine industry. Now, forklifts, chemistry, and even still some computer time, I mean, every winery needs a website, right? Fill Colin's day. Colin and Tyler were nice enough to show us a little bit behind the scenes of what their work day looks like. Let's pretend I'm not here. We're not gonna use any audio. But maybe we will, so it doesn't matter. So should I just say terrible things the whole time? Yeah, probably. I hate my job. This is the worst. <laughs> I hate grapes. I hate wine. I hate hey, grapes. get in there, pretend you're helping. First and you don't, you don't have to pull it out of the, the ring. Just un, yep, and then just, just loosen up the whole and thing. And then just loosen. Then you just lift it up a little bit. And then wait, is this all coming off? Totally yep. come off. Being 5'11 is a good asset to have when yeah. removing the cover. <laughs> And then where are we going? We don't drag it in the grapes. You can just flip it right over on top over there. You want to place it face up so that it stays aerated. So that it <laughs> Part of the bold body comes from how you layer the covers over here. If you're looking for a rounder taste, layer them diagonally like this. Now we are staking the wine to absorb the bottom flavors. You can see now, Colin is measuring the boldness. Measuring the density. <laughs> there, you there you go. There you go, get Mike in here. The density reflects the alcohol content. Oh, okay. The lack Ten. of sugar. And the lack of sugar. <clears throat> Ten it's kind of one of those glass half full, glass half empty. So been 25. And 10 as well. 10 sugars in this barrel. Seems like enough. I like this. This is a step if you need it to break through. I don't want to do it for you because I want you to experience the whole thing. But you'll basically you'll break through it by <laughs> stepping on it, and then uh, and you'll work your way down the cut. Or would you? I could do a demo, and then you could do the next yeah, one. Yeah, do one first. Okay. Do a demo. It's, a, it's not that scary or anything, it's, and Once it's actually pretty through. soft and easy now. How many people have fallen last into grapes? <laughs> we had one person last year for the first time that I'm aware of at this place, so <laughs> your odds are good that Go you won't. Go into the grapes? Yeah. And then what? About up to the knee. <laughs> well, it was panthers. <laughs> oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Move the boards while you're on them. You can hop over, you hop pins. Oh it's like that. Didn't you ever do those like leadership exercises? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the street, trust fall. Like, ten people across this little space with your one board, and you. It's like that. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> so, how often are you doing this? Twice a day? Two times a day. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you afraid of heights? <sighs> no, I'm afraid of failure. Oh. You just have to push the grapes down. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things we've done all year. Yeah, we're gonna need, wait, hold on. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> I mostly just don't wanna go in there. You'll feel it once it breaks through there. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. Okay, we're in. Holy cow, that's hard. So we have You've demonstrated your strength, Tyler. Oh, Colin, I see your method. Okay, so yeah. now we're gonna take some of the push down grapes and we're gonna mix them in with the not push down grapes. <laughs> Come out and take like that much. Of okay, it. we're gonna get your we're gonna take like that, that far much. over. There you go. Gotta wiggle your butt a little bit. <laughs> Everybody comes up with their own form. <laughs> I'm sure that's a new one. <laughs> this, so this is kind of like woofing. We're earning our keep. Yeah. You're going to have to start grape smashing a lot faster. How come there's no music in here? Hold on. I'll put some music in the background that matches your pumping style. Mushing style. <laughs> So 
Tyler was already done with his. I was gonna say, something that takes normally like four minutes to get a couple different angles together. Let's get this one. If it isn't obvious, I think I've learned a new skill and hobby. What? Just fruit punching, really any type of fruit. This is gonna be a new punch down record. Oh my god, I'm just so good at anything I attempt to do. <laughs> It's tough because there's not a lot of challenges out there in life. Look at this. Look at this. Is it fun? It's kind of fun. It's so fun. I don't know why it's fun. It's probably only fun because we're each doing one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, look how punched that is. Dude, that took you four seconds. <laughs> Am I punching this down to your satisfaction? Okay, cool. Can you give any of us strategies at home if we're punching our own grapes? <laughs> Invite your friends over to do it for you and make it sound exciting. <laughs> Actually not doing as good of a job as Allison. What? You did a really nice job. That's like her. the nicest thing you ever said to me. <laughs> she definitely had more style. <laughs> oh, I'd like to see a little more shaking out of demon. Let's see it. We got <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I think I just got grape juice on your pants. <laughs> Now, between traveling to European wine shows, raising chickens, maintaining an herb garden, and drinking 2014 Pinots over a bonfire, all within an hour's drive to the Pacific Ocean, Colin and Hannah haven't looked back except to remember, we didn't even know we could be this happy. Oh, and we've got to say too, the case of Cuvée we brought back to the Midwest to share with friends and family as holiday gifts last year was the hit of every holiday party and we still get texts from people wanting to be reminded, hey, where'd you get that wine? River's Edge Winery ships to just about every U.S. state and you can check out their website in the description box below.